the Bush campaign in 2000 and 2004. You guys set all kinds of records. The Obama campaign came along in 2008 and then again in 2012. And we got to kind of talk about 12 slightly separately because of the super PAC phenomenon, which was a different thing. But what did the Obama campaign do in 2008 that was radically different and better than what you guys had done in, a, in zero, 2000 and 2004? Uh, this is the 12, but it doesn't matter. I, we can use the 8, too. The, um, here's what they did, which was extraordinary. They took these two, two numbers, which are really important. Uh, Republicans relied on direct mail for a lot of smaller contributions. Interestingly enough, uh, you raise can you explain more. to our younger viewers what direct mail is? Direct mail <laughs> is a, uh, an archaic form, actually, it still works. Uh, well, that's paper that shows up in an envelope in your mailbox? Yeah. That shows up with a return response, and, and they're, they're in, in, in a lot of cases, they're smaller contributions. Right. Uh, and, and they're frankly as important because the person who gives $25 or $100 could to get that more later on. could get more later on, but also they're much more likely to put what I call the virtual yard sign of their candidate right. in their sure. life, sure. right? They're, in, they're invested. And every time you can get somebody to invest in, in you, uh, they're, they're going to tell other people they invest in you and they're going to work harder for you. Unlike the institutional investors who are basically like in the game in right. a big way, they're not the same way. They're too sophisticated, right? Right. So here's, here's, here's what, what, what really happened. So the president, especially in the second campaign, the way you, the itemization of donors starts at $99 or more. Right. And so uh, if a person doesn't, if a person who gives, uh, uh, I think actually it's 200 is now the number, but back then it was 99. 200, once you cross that thr threshold, you disclose the, right. your name and, and, and occupation to the FEC. But the way to kind of figure out how successful you are is w w how much money are you getting below that? And what President Obama did in 2008, which was extraordinary, is he took the matrix setup that we had built in 2000 with pioneers. We added Rangers in 2004. Right. They did the same thing, yep. uh, but they added the the internet, which had come of age as, as a fundraising mechanism by 2008. And if you look at the the number of donations, this is amazing. So McCain, 35 percent of his donors started uh, of all donors started as small. 57% uh, for Obama, and if you, 12 is the same way, 39, 68. So 39 for Romney and, and 68, 68 for, for President Obama. Obama. So President Obama doubled his Republican opponent in both cycles in right. terms of in these, in the small And donors. what it is, is yeah. it's the email that says, can you give $5? Or, and now you get one every 16 seconds from, you know, because they've realized how to do it. It, it just shows you the percentage of money that, that really made a difference, and it, it was transformative so that if you look at this, which shows 1,000 versus 200, uh, you know, percentage of donor money is the same, but if you look at it compared to McCain, President Obama doubled McCain, in, in, I mean doubled Romney in, in uh, 12, and so President Obama got less money from $1,000 contributors than Governor Romney did, right. but because of the size and scope of people who gave to the president were invested, they were able to take these smaller donors and turn them into three, four, five pieces. And the difference is the cost of fundraising is so much cheaper today online. Uh, it's also a different demographic, right? So if you think about 08, 12 for President Obama, it was a magnetism, the first campaign with younger voters. Uh, there was a lot of people who were involved in that. So the internet fit beautifully into that whole piece. Interestingly, enough, direct mail fundraising is still very important to Republican candidate because you have an older base uh, that are, of donors that are giving at that level. But it's a pretty striking figure there. When you look at that, you think about President Obama getting outraised by large, uh, by both McCain and Romney, yep. who he wiped out. He wiped out McCain in terms of fundraising yep. in total. Yeah. Romney was competitive in fundraising, but in both cases, it's the small donors for on the Democratic side. It's not only made up the the the, the traditional uh, difference, but it also has allowed President Obama to be dominant fundraising and really on the back of those small donors on the back it, 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 because they were they became much bigger small you know if you give twenty five dollars four times it's a hundred dollars yeah, a lot right. of money right yeah, I mean yeah, sure. after tax dollars that's that's real money so I think that's what and he, the internet uh, the, the, the that Facebook generation that came of age with this presidency it, it was just a, it was a very and they did it very well